Now, the player that I think is going to be very emblematic of all of this is Takario Davis. Because I'll be honest with you, Saul. When Jed Fish left and Takario entered the transfer portal, I thought he was gone. I, and most people behind the scenes thought that he was going to leave. But he's kept his name in the portal. I've got to give this dude a ton of credit. He is seeing it out with this coaching staff. He's still at practice. Obviously, the portal is open. And make no mistake, for a top-flight defensive back, this this kind of this dude can get at certain schools. He can get six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. He is that kind of player. He's an NFL type guy, and the fact that he is sticking this one through is even more remarkable. I think because it he's he's di it's just different because everybody thought he was gone after a while. We knew pretty quickly that nobody really thought T Mac or Noah were leaving after about you know four or five days. But Takario Davis is this one that you keep holding on to, and I really hope we can hold on to him because I think he would be emblematic of the entire journey. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I completely agree. Yeah, I, you know, I, I wanted to ask you a question there, Mike, but I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna change the topic a little bit on you. Huh. Um, I, I also think that guys like a Noah Fafita, right, a quarterback, are not going to transfer in this second window of the portal because you are asking a lot for a – uh, for a quarterback to shift, go somewhere else. Now, the only exception would be Jed Fish because he knows the system over there. But right. to learn a whole new group of people, a whole new system with those people, uh, because it's not going to be exactly the same, um, that's a, that's asking a lot. Now, when you go to Takario, like, again, I just – I think that ultimately this is going to work out because the program – is speaking for itself in the way it's being run, organized, right. and and operated on a day to day basis. I think the coaching staff there's a there's a really delicate balance in being firm and fair with your players, while also and a guy like Takario, if if he was like the sensitive type, which I don't believe he is, right. um, to be able to instruct him without making him feel inadequate or feeling salty one day and just feeling like, okay, well, I'm just going to make an emotional decision and hit the portal because I don't like the way I was talked to today in practice. And I think that's not the case for everybody. I think there are some players out there in the country that they get, the, they get in their feels and they feel like they want to hit the transfer portal because they think it's going to be a better option, but it really isn't. And, you know, I, I think Takario sticking this out and seeing the process, I have no problem with him testing the process, testing right. the waters. I have zero problem with that. I have a problem with players that transfer every year because they're just unhappy every single place they go. If I was an NFL coach, why would I take a player like that? Why right. would I take a player? Because after one year, you're going to already be salty and think that you want, you want to leave, but you don't have that option. This is the right. professional ranks. Like I think these kids should act like pros if that's the kind of money that they're trying to acquire. And once they're there in year one or two, Maybe you transfer once, but two, three, that's a, that's a red flag. Les Fafita said something to me really that I thought was really cool one time you know, when this is, this is when everything broke. And, you know, he told me, he said, he said, we're not going anywhere. He said, the kids love it there. They love the environment. They love everything that's going on and they love that community. I've always thought about that because I mean, let's be honest, T-Mac, people knew who T-Mac was by the time he was 10, 11, 12 years old. He was a five-star kid. Everybody knew who he was. Everybody knows who Noah is now He's national freshman of the year, but there was really no blank. There was really no wavering. And I thought the most important thing about that, especially with the loyalty, Arizona hadn't even hired an offensive coordinator yet. I mean, think about that for a second. You've got a, you've got a son who is the national freshman of the year. His coach just left. And you're saying, yeah, we're sticking around and you don't even know what offense is going to be run. You don't know who now, granted, I'm sure the head coach probably told him he's not going to be running the triple option. But at the same time, I just thought that that was just such a cool. No, nope, they like it. And that's that's just something that's different about U of A. That's something I think is very unique. And I think that's something that's also probably kind of weighing on Takario Davis a little bit, because, again, Takario can go anywhere he wants. He's about one of about six or seven different players. But you get Dwayne Aquina. You've also got into Cario. He's, he's, he wants to be in the NFL in a year. So you're getting taken care of here. You're also on a team where you can be that cornerback. You can be that number one shutdown cornerback that nobody throws to. That's an enticing option that I think a lot of people kind of miss out on in the entire, well, I can make 55,000 more at this school or this school or whatever. Yeah, no, I, no doubt. You know, I, I Mike, it's a challenge, man. Yeah. It's a challenge. I don't, I don't know how you, Listen, man, if, if, if Mike, if I, if I knew you were making X amount of dollars and I'm like, Hey, I can triple that. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to turn down. It really is. But to Takario's, you know, credit, like, and I don't know how much he's getting paid right now, but you know, $650,000 is a lot of money. 
for sure. And, yeah, you know, yeah, it, it, sure. And it's, it's not easy to turn that kind of stuff down. So it must mean that there is something substantial going on at the University of Arizona that is more than just money. Right. And I do think that 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 is a factor. And I think Takario being able to be the premier player on the defensive side of the ball, be a, a top tier NFL draft pick if he everything goes right. Seeing the development from Brent Brennan's you know, group of, of people over the course of the years with a team like San Jose State right. has got to speak volumes to you in terms of your evolution to get to that next level, right? So I think if you put all those factors in, plus the familiarity with Dwayne Aquina and all the other players, like comfort means a lot. Like yeah. I, I I feel comfortable here. I know my role. I know exactly what I'm trying to do. I can see the path to get to the NFL. That's the most important part for a guy like Takario. We're right. not talking about some guy that's like the second or third string guy. We're talking about a premier player. Like, how am I going to get to here? Uh, how are you going to get me to here? And I think that's one of the things that Jed Fish could always talk about because he's been at 89,000 stops before. But when you got a guy like Brent Brennan, who's been in the game for a long time, has coached elite players, who's coached and been around elite players like a Teddy Bruschi back in the day. He's seen that. He's done it. He could also speak to the evolution and the work ethic that these guys have to go through to get to the end point. And I think Takario is getting that message. So hopefully that's going to pay off. Yeah, and I honestly, I think it will. I mean, we'll find this. We'll find it out again because, again, this thing is open for 13 days. By the way, I will say this about the portal. It drives me crazy, but it's great for numbers as well. So I will uh, I will 1,000% be okay with it. AZ Wildcat fan, we tweeted out three different times and put in the Discord. We're on Monday through Friday. We're not taking uh, – we're on Monday through Friday, 1030 every single day. No, no excuses. I do not take sick days off even when I don't feel good. Okay, this is true. All right, now let's get to uh, <laughs> let let's get to a little bit of that. Just kind of what the expectations for for this team, and so a lot of people, I think a lot of people are missing the boat a little bit with the transfer portal. In that, it's always well, who are we losing? Arizona is going to be able to add players. You look at it; there's 15 open scholarships. So yes, if you lose a player or two, I get it, but. It, I think we live in this society where everybody's just worried about, oh, well, you know, if we lose Wendell Moy, where 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 are we going to be able to do, et cetera, et cetera. Arizona's going to be adding players as well. They're, they know the game at this stage. So people need to remember that. And this portal is going to be loaded with players. you got to get DBs. you got to get D linemen. But overall, going to be good. It's a two-way street. It Absolutely, is. it's a two-way street. You know, for every guy that you lose, there's another guy out there on the portal that might be able to come in and and, and help aid in that loss. Um, I don't know if you're you're always going to find a um, an equitable replacement, but there are opportunities to improve your roster. Um, and sometimes it is addition by subtraction for some of these kids. You know, there listen, not every not every guy that's in this on this team or in this um, athletic pro or football program is a top tier kid or it's got the great the greatest mentality ever. It's got the greatest approach to the game. Some people are just, you know, not not cut out for what you're trying to build. And and it's okay if they leave because you're trying to bring in guys that really want to be here. They embrace what you're trying to build, and that's okay. And I, I would say this: there there are quite a few good players out there i don't know if there's really like a lot of top tier talent like yeah. you know you know top of the barrel type of thing but um there are good players out there and you can certainly um supplement your your roster with them